Hi guys, welcome to the Printer John and TV show. Good to be here with you this afternoon. I'd like to first broach uh, some worldwide global issues, starting with the way we connect with each other could be uh, could be closer. And I'm not just talking about language and culture. I'm talking about the United States adopting the metric system, adopting, you know, a progression towards a more uh, global currency, uh, you know, and, and maybe giving away, you know, some of our vehicles to places where they're needed. Really the goal, the ultimate goal being to, 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 Treat each other like family all around the world, like a resource-based economy. Take the first step. For example, you know, some people may be upset at a group of leaders in a country, you know, and they may protest, but how about instead of protesting, take the first step which of unconditional love, which is providing, say, food to... to the, and, and being nice to these world leaders. I mean, you know, a, a lot of this, you know, all these con a lot of these conflicts and things like, let's say, random thing, like you see, you see some, some people about to escalate into a, a physical altercation on the street. You know, maybe do what you can, share some money, you know, g give some money to one, the, one of the people. And you know, show them, tell them they don't deserve to be angry, you know, they should be protecting each other. You, use some strategic, diplomatic, powerful, encouraging words. Another concern of mine, the nuclear uh, arsenals of the world, I think they should all be taken and put in one place, perhaps the North or South Pole, and guarded by a group of soldiers from all different countries. And make it a fun thing, make it where it's like the joint, the joint, uh, uh, what you, training missions or something, where all the countries can get together, learn about each other, and at the same time guard these nuclear arsenals that are, uh, and, and un put it in an underground barkle bunker so that nobody uses them. And any other thoughts for the day? Yes, my feelings. How do I? There's somebody who I, uh, who I'm talking to right now who you know, romantically, who I, who I really like, and I'm making sure to be respectful of her space and not flirting or seducing, trying to seduce her, you know, in person. I may provide her some of my romantic thoughts via email, but uh, basically, you know, she's a little different from me in certain ways, but how do I know? What's the principal telltale factor that suggests to me that she's that special to me like I would want her to be a life, potential life partner. Those things are my feelings for her. I feel great every time I'm around her. I like listening to her and I enjoy thinking about her. I find her inspiring in this way. So I like her personality. Even if she, say, had diseases or just life complications in general, it, it wouldn't it wouldn't phase, you know, my attraction uh, to her, and my desire to be with her. So let's see if we have any other thoughts for you today. Uh, regarding the presidential campaign, I, I'm impressed by people such as you know all everyone involved, including people like Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton, for. And, and all these other guys who, who look really sharp, I, I think that they, you know, we're all, they're all contributing to America. It's all, like, there's never really one person, per se, you know, that's the quote-unquote president or the, the leader. I think we're all kind of leading and building America together. So that in that regard, it may be uh, a good idea to change the way the president is viewed maybe as like a uh, a uh, a mascot for America and not a leader. I think the people are a leader for this country. I think they are the ones that can make democratically 
co collected votes, and so on and so forth. Another thought, energy. What, what, what do I do? What, is, what do me, John Anolani Remus, do? What do I do? Well, I like to create momentum. And one way I do this is by cleaning and organizing a space and imbuing into it my energy. My theory is that by imparting my positive energy into my creation, other people can feel that in their consciousness when they use, for example, maybe a place that I broomed or they simply see it. Simple stuff like this. Uh, these are my thoughts. Thanks for being here with me. And let's, let's see a, a, a harmonized world. Of course, I believe it starts with being doing this light work that I do. Like I just take my hand like this, or I go like this, and just with a pen or whatnot. And I, I visualize this light beaming out and people smiling. And I think that this has helped me to maintain a positive emotional constant. And that allows me to think clearly, along with, of course, breathing, jogging, exercising. The point being, with the faith and the mind first, then things happen in the rest of the world. It's not the other way around where I'm hoping to look and try and find a good circumstance, but rather I'm creating it. So come join me and see you next time. Aloha.